Hi, I'm Laura from Meadowlark Violin, and welcome to my song of the month. Normally I have some free sheet music to give you, but for this month we're learning Amarillo by Morning by ear. So first I'm going to play for you my version of this intro fiddle solo. Now you'll notice if you listen to all the versions that are out there, they're very different and they get kind of fancy with a lot of ornaments and embellishments or what I call squigglies. And when you're trying to pick out a song by ear, I suggest taking out all of those fancy little ornaments and embellishments and just try to simplify it as much as you can. You can add in those embellishments later. So I'm going to play for you my version of this fill solo and then we're gonna learn it by ear. Let's talk through it. When I'm trying to figure out a song by ear, I'd like to just hold my violin down here in guitar position, and this way I can brace my thumb against the top of the fingerboard and pick with my fingers down here. This is a lot more forgiving than using a bow when you're trying to learn songs by ear. So the first thing that you want to do is kind of see how the song is built. Do you see how that fiddle solo is kind of separated into two parts? with that crazy little run in between, okay? So don't worry about the run right now. Let's just focus on that first section. Your first job is to figure out what note it starts on. And the way that you do that is you just pitch match. So you listen to the note and then you match it with your voice. Da. I know I plucked it, so you'd sing it first with the recording, da, and then try to find it on your violin. Da. And that's how you figure out what your first note is. So now that we've figured out that our first note is an A, we just want to kind of keep singing along note by note, and I use my hand to help me understand if it's going up or down. So it starts on an A, and it goes da, da, da. Do you hear how it goes up and then back down? So it's A, B, A. That's our first part. Then what does it do after that? It goes down. If you don't know how far it goes down, then just start trying notes down. So let's try A, B, A, G. Nope. How about A, B, A, F sharp. There we go. That's it. Okay. Then what does it do? So you see how it goes down and then it comes back up. So it's, we've got that F sharp and then it goes E, F, E. And then what does it do? Da, 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 goes down again. So E, F, E, D. So this is what we have so far. Dum. I can tell that's really low, so let's just try start going down notes. So I've got the open D as my last note. Let's try D to C. Nope. Let's try D to B. That sounds right. Okay. And then it goes da 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 bum so B, it goes up. You can just start trying notes up. Try B to C. Nope, how about B to D? Yes, and then back to B, then down to A. Okay, so here's what you got. Let's try playing it through together. Then you've got the crazy run. And then you've got the second part. Now the second part sounds really similar to the first part, right? And it basically is almost the exact same notes, just up an octave. There's just a few little changes in there. So instead of playing an open A, play a third finger A on the E string. And now it's A, B, A, F sharp. Here's where it changes a little bit. It goes F sharp, and then it really quickly kind of goes up to an A, like kind of like a grace note and then back down to the F sharp. And then after the F sharp, it really quickly goes from the open E down to the D. Those are all, those are kind of grace notes. So it goes A, B, A, F, A, F, E, D. That all happens really quick, that F, A, F, E, D, okay? Then what happens next? Da, 
down to B, first finger, then back up to D. And then here it goes higher, right? And you, you might not know how much higher it goes. That's too high for me to sing, but just start trying the next note up. So let's try E. No. Maybe. Not G. Uh, I think that's what it is in most of the versions. So it goes B, D, A. So here's what you have for that high part. But there's something fancy going on there at the very end. And what that is, is a harmonic. And a harmonic is when you're just lightly touching your finger to the string in a certain place. And I've got some other videos on harmonics, so I'll include that below. But you just play like this. You've got the A. Scoot your hand up here until it hits the bout and reach your pinky out on the E string. You might have to fish around it first to find it. Okay, but that's the first harmonic. And then just rotate your elbow, play the exact same place on the A string, and that's the last harmonic there. So it goes like this. And that's the solo. You can add in all those extra squigglies and ornaments as you get comfortable with it. Let's talk really quick about that run in the middle. It sounds really fancy. All it is is a scale. It's a little A major scale. So this is one of the first scales you probably learn. Open A, one, two, three on the A string, then the same finger pattern on the E string. Open E, F sharp, G sharp, A, and you're there. So don't even think about notes, just I slur it all together because it happens pretty fast. Open one, two, three, open one, two, three. My E always whistles there, so give it a little bit more weight. And there you go. A great way to practice fast things like that is to do it without your bow, just to work on the finger action. And once you have that, you have the basic fiddle part for Amarillo by Morning. You can try picking out the rest of the song or start adding in any of those embellishments or ornaments. If you enjoyed this lesson, I encourage you to check out one of my courses how to Learn Songs by Ear, where I really go through and teach you all the different tips and tricks to picking out songs for yourself. So that's part of my online membership, and I'll put a link to that below. But while you're here, you can check out this video or this video and have fun practicing.